Okay, so let's now create some relation between the roles and the permission. We have to assign the permissions to particular roles. So if I go on the roles, you can see we have many roles, but this is just only the name. We want something like we have name, then the permissions. So permissions will be for the blog. So I will give here left side the blog crud part, then the user crud part. So if we want in the future, we can add many things. Okay. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's start and we have to make some changes in the create part or the edit part of the roles. So firstly, go to Sublime and let's close these things. Let's close everything. Okay, now start from here and we will go to resource, views, admin and the role. Here, let's first create the create part. So what I need, so if I click add new, I need a new section here and here. So we need two sides. Now, again, firstly, I will give a call LG of six and that should be two. Okay, so hit tab and yeah, we have two divs. So in the first div, I will give a label called uh, may, maybe posts permissions okay and in the second one I will say user permission user permissions okay so that should be s okay and here let's see first how it's look like so refresh yeah it's okay and let's see what else we need we need some checkboxes. So the checkboxes for the permissions we have here. So here we need a one checkbox. So I will say dot checkbox. That should be the class. Inside here, I will give firstly give the label. Inside label, no need any for. Now input, input type is checkbox and here comes uh, let's say create okay so let's create one more and one more four one is here refresh yeah this is here but I think it instead of this if it will be one after another that will be nice so let's see how we can do that so for that we just have to do one thing we just have to copy with the divs so I will select it and hit enter and yes we have this let's refresh yeah one two three four and exactly same thing for user side so that should be here okay so yeah I think this is looking good okay so what we need firstly we have created many permissions but permissions are straightforward so we have to define the permission is for which part the permission is for post the permission is for uh, user or it's for others so i think it looks like we need another field here which is has to be like select box and having three fields like post user and others so we will define that so firstly go to this SQL Pro and let's just edit this table. We can edit the migration, but if we edit migration, we have to make PHP Addison migrate refresh, which will flush out every data we have. So we don't want to do that. But for you, I will create that thing. So I will say here uh, for, okay, so that if you run the migration, you will get this field also. Okay, let's close this one this one okay so here I need one more so this one is here and that should be uh, for nothing else okay that's very easy okay here we have this now what we need to do we have to make some changes in the 
create part of the permission so let's go to sublime and open the permission folder which is inside admin views so create and if you can see we only have one field which is this input works but we need one more uh, form group so it's firstly form group and inside form group I need a label so label and label is for for <laughs> okay so I will say uh, permission for and then I will use select box and that should be name of for and let's say ID of for also and here let's give a class of uh, form control and here I will say option and that should be select and disabled and that should be uh, select permission for okay so let's see how it look like and yeah permission for and that should be okay and now we need the hard-coded one so option and value will be user and is user that should be post that should be others not others only other okay so this will be again other this will be post and go back refresh and yes we have these things so if I select or create a new permission so you can see we have this permission let's delete this permission and we need to create new but we don't have anything to save these for part so I will go to permission controller which is inside controller admin permission controller and when I store these field so firstly we need to validate for for okay and that should be required only okay and here we can say for so permission for for we are saving and same thing for the update part let's copy this okay so copy this one and paste this one once more this will be also for and now if I go and create uh, I will say post dash create select permission for the post and submit and yes it's here but we can see because we have not created anything so let's just create that so I will go to show part of the permission and here firstly what I will do I will create it a capital P so that it will look like nice okay so then it will be uh, for and in the header we need permission for and same thing for the footer permission for okay go back refresh and yeah we can see we have the permission for post so let's create other post create we have update we can say post update and here we have post update then post uh, edit uh, edit is update same uh, delete yeah delete and yeah create update and yeah create update delete and everything is good so now we need user dash create and that should be for user okay and instead of doing this I think if you can only use create because we are using permission that will be okay but I'm using this it doesn't matter okay because it will look clear that yeah user create we don't have to look here so this is just for uh, separating these things so user create and user update it should be user then then again user create user update user delete so user uh, create update delete is done for the user 
and one thing is left which is post publish uh, whether the role has the permission to publish or not so that should be for post and if we need we can create other one also so let's create other one like uh, what we can create uh, let's say <laughs> tag um, crud part so we will give permission to create the tag crud part similarly let's create the category crud part so that means all, every permission we are giving to this so it's up to you how you can manage all these things so here we have created now when I go to the roles and hit add we need that fields here so this time I will go to the show part of roles so I will close this and role show not show create create part and here you can see we have all these things many times so I will use one time and then for each loop so for each um, I will say permission permissions as permission okay and here I will firstly check if permission is for post then yeah create these checkbox and then instead of this I will say uh, dollar permission arrow name so various names we will give and obviously the we have to give that value here so value will be ID okay so that's good and let's pass this permission uh, permissions variable from controller so we need the roles controller and the create part we need dollar permissions is equal to per mission not permissions and I will get all okay so next is compact and permission permissions okay and we have to find use so find use so find use it's at the top that's good and let's go refresh and yes you can see post create post update everything is here <laughs> similarly we need the user permission so here we have and let's copy all these things one more time and that should be here and but this time what we will going to check if for user let's create one more for others so now I will say four then again four and obviously we don't need these check boxes and now uh, one more time and that should be other okay so let's go refresh and you can see it's very nice but it's here that is because we need to wrap everything inside a div so we need to wrap this wrap everything inside here so that should be div okay so go back refresh it's not giving that thing let's give a class of row is that okay yeah that's nice okay so this thing is here and we will cover all these things we will create and submit the role with the permission in the next episode till then if you have any doubt feel free to comment me and message me on Facebook Twitter Instagram email me and don't forget to follow me on these platforms you can support me on patreon.com and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye